Hello and welcome to Tech Checker. Today I'm going to be reviewing this MCO Plus 7 inch uh, DC70 Mark II clip on color TFT HD LCD for on camera monitor display with a HDMI uh, with a sunshade built in uh, or sun hood built in AV signals up to 1240 by 600 resolution for DSLR cameras and camcorders now the reason I've got this particular one is because I've just purchased a new Sony 77 mark ii camera um, does really amazing videos but it hasn't got a um, built-in headphone jack now when i was reading the specs on this it said that it had a headphone jack which is there which is handy so basically what this means is that I can now plug in my headphones into this and when I'm doing videos I can monitor the recording um, via the headphone jack so that's really helpful it's also got a tripod jack on the side an AV input another tripod um, size um, hole on the top so you can mount something else onto it another one on this side got the on off you've got a USB got the menu um, switch there and another tripod mount at the bottom I'll have a look at that in a minute more comes with a nice carry pouch as well there's the adapter to go onto a camera or a tripod or onto a mount if you're going to be using this on a mount it comes with a MIDI USB uh, HDMI I actually need the micro which I've got so I'm going to be using that so I'm just going to put this to one side for the moment so let's just put it to one side and have a look at the unit so it takes the Sony style um, batteries got HDMI in HDMI out DC in battery is 7.5 2 volt 5 watt 200 milliamp and the AC adapter 8 to 18 volt 2 amps so that's really handy I've got plenty of 12 volt um, adapters so I'll be able to power it from that if I run out of batteries or if I'm using it indoors so let's have a look how we open this up that's cool so that flips open and shut that's really handy and I believe this comes up as well it's nice handy to have a shade like this keep the sun out of the uh, shot and yep that peels off so you can take that off if you don't want to use it so let's get a battery put this one in turn it on There we go, boot up, stick this goes on like so. And that goes on the bottom of my camera, so let me just move that over. And I'll get the, the camera what I'm on about. So I had the A70, uh, A55 before which had a microphone in and it also had a uh, headphone socket. This one hasn't, this has only got a microphone socket. So the idea is that I'm going to be able to connect up the HDMI lead to the monitor and use the monitor um, headphone port to listen to audio. So I'm hoping that's going to work. So let's get the lead. Right. Plug this in, and it goes in there like so. And it goes in that way, like that. And then this goes into the HDMI input. So now, if I turn my camera on. Hopefully, it should show up on here. So it's going to picture, take it off, 
There we go. Let's move that out of the way. There you go, so now I can use it for um, pictures and I can also put it into um, movie mode. And I can use it for doing movies and it shows me the volume on the um, screen. So let's go into the menu, it tells me I've got 52 batteries left. So on the menu it's got picture, function, mark, input source, menu settings, exit, at the moment it's saying it's 1080p at 50 hertz, which is that, so if I go to change all the red screens and everything, go to the function, you've got peaking, peaking colour, false colour exposure, monochrome, aspect ratio and change the aspect ratio of it. Leave it on leave it on auto actually. Pixel function um, camera mode, I'm gonna put that on because I think it's gonna give me a bit of screen. Move that off of that because it's on camera mode now. Put it back to there we go. So now I've got the full screen and I can see all of the different functions. So that's handy. So I can change that. Mark menu settings and exit so they are all the different um, functions that you can do you can change the picture standard dynamic user mild you can adjust everything you everything on there backlight you can adjust color temperature you can adjust that as well Your reds and your greens and all that. Peaking. So it's got loads of stuff on the um, aspect ratio, auto, pixel to pixel. There's loads here. You can also flip it horizontal and vertical. So depending on where you've got the screen mounted, if it's upside down or to the side, you can flip it over so it doesn't matter which way up you have it you're going to be able to have the screen facing the right way so that's handy you can also zoom let's have a look at the zoom quickly camera mode won't let you do it in this when you're in camera mode we can do the flip if i show you the flip so there you go, it's flipped it vertically or horizontally rather, let me flip, flip it vertically, see now it's upside down put that back you can freeze frame you can do all sorts, if I go back to camera mode I could probably do the Probably do the zoom in. Let's have a look. Is that on that one? Yeah. So there you go. You can zoom in up to five, four, three, two. So if you're f um, taking a picture of something with a long range telephoto lens, you can zoom right into it and see exactly what you're uh, getting. So that's really handy. So look at that. And zoom right in up to five times and that's done on the monitor so you can see if you're in focus so that's really handy let's 
Yeah, back out of that. So you've got input source, which is obviously on the HDMI, but you can have it on the other one as well. Menu settings, language, volume. That's the other thing I wanted to show. Right, so if I put this onto movie mode. Um, right. So that's on movie mode now. Now I can't hear anything from it. I can see the volume bars going up and down. But if I get my headphones, and obviously you can adjust the volume as well on there. Volume up and down. Transparency of the display. If I plug these in. It's going to echo, but it gives you an idea to show. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Obviously, that's. Let me unplug it. Obviously, that's. Right, let me just plug something in that to stop that squealing because I'm getting feedback now. Well, obviously, that's, uh, that's working. It has got a built in speaker. Obviously, I'm going to get feedback. One, two. One, two. That's okay. Stop now. Get the focus. Come on. Focus. Well, there you go, I got it back in focus. Well, okay, so anyway, this gives you an idea. It's a really handy screen, and I really like the fact that you've got this um, on there as well. So you can cover in the shade. Let me get this menu off, exit. So there you go, gives you a display of all of the bits, and obviously that's move that about so yeah so this is a really handy and obviously it can attach to the camera it can attach to a camera rig um, you've got plenty of extra um, threads as well and you've got the easy to use navigation so let me just unplug that and move this out of the way I'll leave a link in the description to where you can get this from. Um, I think I might have got the last one, but hopefully they're going to be having some more in stock. It's a really good um, monitor, as you can see. It's easy to set up, and it runs off of these um, Sony batteries. Now, if you haven't got a Sony camera, you can just buy two of these batteries like this with a charger for... Um, I think they're about 15 quid or something like that. Maybe even maybe 20 quid, but you can buy the you can buy these um, quite cheap off Amazon. These batteries. Um, I'll leave a link where to buy these batteries as well. Second hand, not second hand, but they're not um, Sony batteries, but they work fine. They last a long time. I've tested them out in um, lights as well as this monitor. So yeah, and also you've got the HDMI out, which I haven't really um, shown it you about, but Obviously, you can then link that up to something else, a TV or something, or another monitor for someone else to look at. And you've got the DC in, so if you don't want to use the batteries, you can use a DC in if you're indoors. Obviously, if you're outdoors and you're about, you're going to want to get yourself some of these batteries. So anyway, hopefully this video has been of some help to you. If it has, please leave me a thumbs up.